Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to be making some candy pineapples. So let's get started. Here I am just going to simply dry my pineapples off with a paper towel. I like this brand of pineapples because they are pretty thick and they don't have like a lot of crevices in them or broken pieces. I don't wanna lie, cause I know you hate it. But right now I'm stuck in the middle. I stumble while I try, cause you don't wanna give in. Sounds like we're just talking in riddles. Five in the morning, all we do is fighting. Thought you'd come and make it right. I need a pause from the battle, but I don't After drying your pineapples, you're then going to place them onto some parchment paper and then you want to put them in the freezer for about an hour so that they can completely freeze. Now on to the candy mixture. We're going to be using four cups of sugar, three cups of water, and one cup of Cairo. I love to use this recipe because it doesn't make your candy super thick and super hard. So this is like my go-to for everything. Candy apples, grapes, all of my candied treats. I love it. So here I am just combining all of my ingredients together very well. You want to make sure that you get all the sugar off the bottom of the pot. If you do not, you will ruin your candy. So I am going to be using this candy thermometer. There are many different candy thermometers. I just would prefer these because I don't really have problems with the ink and the um, thermometers like bleeding or separating or anything like that but you want to make sure that your thermometer is not touching the bottom of your pot you're going to cook this on medium to high heat i usually put mine between the five and the six and you want to cook it up to 300 degrees before removing it from the heat as you can see in this clip my candy looks like a brownish orange color that is because i am cooking my candy mixture on a gas range so I had to let it cook for a little bit longer, but trust me when I say it, you'll be burnt. able to tell if your candy mixture is burnt because it's gonna smell burnt. This did not smell burnt. I also use the Lorraine flavoring oils. I'll also make sure that I leave the links down below in the description box for that. I use the blue gel food coloring along with the liquid white from Hobby Lobby. You guys, I would highly recommend that you use Wilton white, and that is the Wilton icing color. It is so good. It's so good and it gives you your best vibrant color. So I would highly recommend that you use that instead of the one that I use here in this video. Once you add your flavoring and all of your colors, you're just gonna simply stir that and you're gonna add more coloring as you go. I would highly recommend if you are using the icing color, be careful because if you add too much white, your candy will start to turn into like a really hard, icing type of texture and you don't want that and I don't think that your customers would enjoy that either. I have removed my pineapples from the freezer so now they are completely frozen so I am just dipping them into the candy mixture and dipping only half of the pineapple and then I'm going to turn around and dip the other half once this half cools. This, in my opinion, is the best way to have your cleanest looking candy pineapples. I received a few comments asking where and how long can you store your candy treats. So for your pineapples, you are not gonna get a long shelf life out of these at all because they are so juicy. 
So as the time goes by, they are going to start breaking down. So I would highly recommend that you make these pineapples to order and get them out as quickly as possible to your customer. The longest that I have kept candied pineapples was about an hour after making them just because this customer ordered pineapples, grapes, and the pickles. So it was like a package deal. So I put them in the refrigerator so that the grapes could cool off completely and be nice and cold by the time the customer received them. But I personally do not like to keep pineapples overnight because they are literally going to break down from the moisture of the pineapple. So just keep that in mind when you're making these treats. As you can see, as I was dipping the pineapples, this one actually fell into the pot. I do not recommend that you try to chase after the pineapple or any drop candy treats as you're dipping because baby girl, you gonna burn your hands and you'll probably have to go to the emergency room. So as you can see, dipping candy pineapples is pretty simple. You just have to have patience. And also keep in mind that because your fruit is frozen, it's not gonna take long at all for the candy to um, settle. So as soon as I finished this batch, I went right back and I started to dip the other half of the pineapples. And you do it just like this. As you can see, there is a little line of demarcation there on the pineapple, but it's okay because we are going to drizzle these. If you haven't watched my pickle video, we also drizzled the pickles in that video. So it's the same exact way, but I will be sure to show you. Drizzling with candy mixture is a whole different ball game, you guys, but it is definitely doable. You just have to be patient. And I would highly recommend that you space your treats out a little, little more than what I have. Mine's here spaced out. They're really close, so be careful because you can get candy on your treats very easily if your treats are too close together. But it's not hard to do. But just know that once you drop that candy on your treat, it's going to be hard to take it off if you end up messing something up. If you're anything like me, I'm like a little perfectionist when it comes to drizzling my treats. But I show myself a little more grace when I'm drizzling candy treats. So there you have it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you plan to try this recipe. And also keep in mind that if you would like to add toppings to your pineapples, you definitely can. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I hold on to my heart, you're with nobody